Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is reverse string. Write a function that reverses a string, but we want to do this in place uh, so that we don't use any extra memory. So if you're using Python, the, trick, the cheeky answer would be simply to say, hey, I know there's a function for this. Reverse, and there we go. We reversed it. But pretty sure that's not going to fly in an interview. Um, they want to know like, if you know the algorithm for it. And there is one um, that's usually used. It's a two-pointer one where you're going to point one to the beginning of the string and point one to the end of the, end of the string, or in this case, the list, and just swap them. And after you swap it, just increment the left pointer by one and decrement the right pointer by minus one. And you can continue this until left and right uh, meet each other. Uh, if they meet each other at a point, um, it's like if it's a odd numbered number of lists, it's going to be in the middle. And if it's even, it'll swap the ones at the very middle as well. Uh, so you can also use this thing to uh, solve palindrome questions. It's, it's good for that as well. So let's first create our pointers. Just say length of s minus 1 because it's zero indexed. And while l is less than r, we're just going to swap, right? So swap l and r. And you can do this like this in Python. Oops. Make a lot of typos here. Ah. And that'll be it. We don't want to return anything because we're doing this in place. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> That's not going to fail because I need to decrement and increment my pointers. Yeah, so that's going to hit an infinite loop. Um, my fault. And there, there you go. So standard question, it's something that you should know. Um, I don't really think I need to explain it too deeply. So that's it.